Hi, and welcome back to This Bites For You. So, a little over a year ago, Cougar asked me to review the Cougar Armor Pro gaming chair. This guy right here. I've had it for over a year, and while I've had it for that long, it's still almost brand new. It looks great. They did a great job with this chair. I'm about 265 pounds, the max weight limit for this chair, and still, it's doing great. So Cougar asked me to review their Cougar Explorer S, and I'm like, well, why not? This chair's been pretty good, right? So let's give this one a try. But anyway, in this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing, assembly, and then we get to see just how comfortable compared to this guy, that chair is. So let's get started. All right, so to start off with, we have the box. This box has been put through some torture. So here's one side, and the other side, Hopefully nothing fell out of the box, but we'll see. This side doesn't look too bad, and this side looks okay. So problem is, you can see that it comes wide open now. Mind you, it did have straps on it, so pretty sure no one's gone in there. But anyway, let's check it out inside. All right, so I don't have a whole lot of space to work with, so I had to move some things around. I wanted to give you an angle so you could see, while we're opening it, what I see just how bad potentially the chair was damaged and then if anything to give you an inventory foam the backing and I'll go over more of an inventory in a minute all right this is the five star base Feels nice and sturdy. And then this is what goes to the bottom of the chair. Then where you slide the piston into that connects to the five star. And then we have here so that you can tighten and loosen the backrest. And then over here so that you can raise and lower the piston as well, the seat. All right, these are the sides where the plastic on the side of the chair connects or the backrest connects to where the butt goes. <laughs> and this is going to be the piston cover. And then they bring here five three inch caster wheels. Now these feel much larger than the Armor Pro, but I'll compare in a little bit. They do feel Pretty large, again, three inch wheels. Then they bring white gloves for the Michael Jackson service. You know, that way you don't mess up anything. And I will be using these for the build. Then they bring an Allen wrench, a screw. There might be another one that I might be missing. And then these little side covers to cover the screws. I really hope it didn't fall. Oh no, I see it right now. One sec. So it was actually laying in the box on its side. So both screws and both covers. I'll tell you, the box got beat up, but it actually seems pretty solid. And then we have the seat as well that has the armrests already attached. And this is going to be the last piece of the box. So I'm going to take everything out and just put it on the table. So one sec. Just taking the pla the cardboard out, the piston is stuck right here and it is dirty. Looks like it's fine, but it just looks dirty. But anyway, you could see this is where I believe, yeah, this is going to go to the bottom of the chair and then this is going to go into the five star, but I'm gonna show you all that in this video. Of course, this is the base of the chair. It already comes with the armrests already in there and let me take this off real quick just feeling the material already it has some preparations whereas the armor pro does not all right so zooming out here you can see the little perforations now that might be great so you, that you don't sweat on this chair all right so then we have out here along the sides where it comes up a little bit where you have your thighs on the outside of the chair Now, as I mentioned before, it does come with the armrest already on here, whereas the Cougar Pro, you had to 
put it on there on your own. Not a bad thing, just they've already done that for you. So this allows you to turn it this way and then go forwards and backwards. And then also height adjustment as well. So they call it the 3D armrest. Over here is where it attaches to the side of the chair. So not much of an inventory. We've already gone over everything doing the unboxing. And I almost forgot the backrest. So here we'll just take this apart. It also comes with that pattern as well. And then getting closer, which we'll do in a second, it's also perforated right along here. It comes already attached with the headrest and the lower lumbar pillows, though, of course, you can remove them if you'd like. And then, of course, the cougar embroidery along the front and the back as well. Then the back, pretty average. It does come with zippers along here as well, so that if you wanted to take out some cushion or put some back in, you could. And then to get rid of these pillows, that's it. And they just fall right off. So pillows, this PVC leather kind of material also so that you can take out or put some more foam in as you'd like. Kind of a nice feature, I think. If you don't like how cushy it is, take some out. If you want it to be extra cushy, you can put some in. And then the lower lumbar pillow. Rather than zippers, this has Velcro kind of in there. And then the pads. And let me zoom you in for that perforation. So nothing special right along here. Kind of the same thing we saw before, but I just wanted to show it to you. So let's put it together real quick. So I have the gloves on. They want you to use. They're very cheap gloves, one-time use. But you can't go dancing with them. But anyway, uh, they don't include instructions, but don't worry. I've gone over this a thousand times before. I'll show you how to do that real quick. So first thing that we're going to want to do is put on these casters. So just literally push them in. They're, they're not gonna be that difficult to get in. All right, and if you're a little unsure about how they fit right now, don't worry. As soon as you sit down, they're all gonna pop back into their place correctly. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is pop the piston in. Just remember, this side facing down, this side facing up. Easy enough, right? Then we're gonna put the covers. That way you guys don't hurt yourselves. Children, adults, we all wanna play with things. Don't. All right, so for right now, let's put this aside and move on to the next. The next step is to put this piece on the bottom of the chair. This piece is what's going to connect the piston, the bottom of the chair, the five star to this here. So what we're going to need to do first is remove these screws. So we'd need the Allen wrench for that. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and put this on the bottom. Now, this is the front where your feet are gonna dangle from. You're gonna want it to match right up here where it says front, right there. So we're going to want to put it like that and just put the screws back in. Now, these screws are really tight to remove and to even put back in, so you're not gonna go anywhere when these are screwed in. So trying to save a buck with this Allen wrench, it's really annoying to have to, when you're putting this in, to 
have to take it out every single time. Just maybe something for a future build. Either make this a little shorter or include two of them. These are a lifesaver to have. I'll link it down below in case you're interested. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put the back on the chair. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. So in order to put them on, we're going to first need to remove these screws on the side here. It looks like you can take them off with your fingers. Just set them aside for now. Okay, it looks like on one side you can do it, not both. We're going to go ahead and align these with these on the side of the chair. So one of these is going to be perfectly stood up. This is where the back is going to line into. This is where you sit down. This side is going to be a little limp. That's okay, This it gets all the strength from this one side. So again, just going to be dumping this right here. We're going to line these up and then screw these in right over here. So do them by hand first. And don't tie them completely until you do the other side as well. Let's move on to the other side. Now at this point, we can just go ahead and tighten them all. So you're going to run into this every once in a while. So if you do have an extra one, it might be best to use it. Try not to, but now we'll do the other side. And now we'll grab these covers and utilize the screws to go right in here and then afterwards the cap. So we're going to snap this right in here. Okay, and that snaps in pretty easy. Now we just need to screw this in over here. All right, and now push the cap in. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And like we did before, pop that in. On the left, that is the Cougar Armor, and this over here is the Explorer S. The Explorer S is brand new, so it is a lot more orange, though I don't remember the Armor Pro being a lot more orange, but anyway, let's just say age. So the back on the Pro seems a lot wider than the Explorer S. Notice here, it is just solid PVC leather over here. While over here is the perforated PVC leather. So notice here how the chair kind of curves into the back, the bucket seat kind of. So you can see exactly what I was talking about before, that it's not just flat. You can see the curve. 
Now on the Cougar Armor Pro, you can see how it's just a slab. <laughs> it's flat. There's no curves. It, it, it's just flat. Along the back is the same on the Armor Pro. Looks very similar compared to the Explorer. The Explorer hugs you a little bit more since it's not as wide. They both have the three inch wheels and they both have the rocking mechanism to tighten and to loosen it. You'll notice they both have the same type of 3D armrest. On the Armor Pro, again, I just, I've had my entire family sit on it, not all at once, but there's a huge, tremendous difference. Again, now my feet are totally flat, whereas on the Explorer S, my legs would be a little bit more elevated right now. There's that little bump. This one, you cannot, even if you loosen it, you cannot rock back and forward. You can, of course, slide back and lay it back, but you cannot rock back and forward. On the Explorer S, if you wanted to, you can rock back and forward. And I loosened it, you can tighten it. You know, you can make it so that it's a lot more difficult to rock back and forward. Now, mind you, it's not as easy as a rocking chair. You do have to push back a little bit more but still, you can actually rock back and forward. The Armor Pro, you couldn't. Now, another thing is, on the Armor Pro, I couldn't sit like this. I like to sit like this. On the Explorer S, I can. So the Cougar Explorer S, I've been using it now for about two days, three hours yesterday, and about three hours this morning. So not two days really, but over the course of two days, and I found it so much more comfortable than the Armor Pro. The Armor Pro, about 30 minutes, and I'd have to stand up because my butt was hurting. This one, I only stood up to go to sleep last night, and then this morning to either go get some breakfast or whatever it was. But both times I was editing for about three hours at a time. The wheels or casters, same size, the PVC leather is the same material, but the Explorer has it perforated. I don't know if there's a big difference there, but you've seen now the difference between the chair flat versus the bucket seat I was mentioning before. And the width of the back, I don't know if that makes a big difference, but still the Explorer S is so much more comfortable. Now with that comfort and actually with the ability to rock back and forward, that the Armor Pro doesn't have about a hundred dollar difference. Let me know down below, would you pay a hundred dollars more for extra comfort, the ability to rock back and forward, the ability to sit crisscross like I was sitting, I love sitting like that, or would you prefer to be less comfortable? To me, it's more comfort than all the other three or all the other two. I like the Explorer S a lot more. Awesome job, Cougar. So let me know again down below what you guys think. As always, please do click like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And any comments or concerns or questions you may have about the Explorer or anything, please leave them down below. I respond to everything. All right, my friends, Iggy with this bite for you up. See you guys.